welcome back students we today we are going to start with the second part of the unit 1 that is your part 2 book of uh, ncrt we've been doing hello alkenes all these days we have uh, gone into the details of every line of ncrt we have made a question and now i'm going to start with the second part of the first chapter that is unit 1 that is hello arenes yesterday i've given a clear description of the whole summary of the chapter i've told you or I've uh, just uh, put it on the board about the physical properties, chemical properties, what am I going to discuss. Now I'll be starting with the halo arenes chapter. As the name suggests, we know halo arenes. As I said yesterday, halo stands for X. X can be fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine. Arene stands for the aromatic ring, right? Aromatic or the benzene ring. Yes. If I take this particular benzene, <coughs> if I introduce this fluorine, this is going to become fluorobenzene. If I take chlorine, if I introduce chlorine into this, this is going to become chlorobenzene. Yes, same is the case. Next would be bromobenzene. Bromobenzene. Next would be iodobenzene yes so these are the different types of your haloarenes iodobenzene done this is the basic thing which we just for information we just recollect it and let us come back now i'm going to start with the first question what you have to practice for your boats and let us read the question first this is the question given let us discuss <coughs> what does it say why is the bond length in Rx greater than ARCl that is 169 picometer. So they have given me two conditions because I have already studied the Halo Alkins chapter. They have asked me to compare between Rx and ARX. So let me write. So as soon as such question is given to you, divide the page into two equal halves. First thing where the data is given for me from alkyl halides Rx. So second would be your Arx. I'm not writing specifically Cl or something. I'm just writing X. In this Rx, the bond length given to me is 177 picometer. Here the bond length given to me is 169 picometer. They're asking me why is this greater than this? Simple. So now I have to start explaining in terms of hybridization. That is the most important because hybridization explains you the S character, isn't it? When I speak in terms of S character, that means I'm basically speaking in terms of electronegativity. So let us start. So when I speak or <clears throat> when I see Rx, yes, your Rx, if I write one, two, three, four. So here if I take R methyl group H and H. Now the type of hybridization observed here yes all single bonds right so the type of hybridization observed is sp3 isn't it done here when I come to aryl halide that is your benzene ring benzene ring as you know has alternate double bonds yes done so alternate double bonds the type of hybridization observed yes is sp2 hybridization which one do you find more of S character? Yeah, we find it in SP2 hybridization. So what are, what are you going to start? Now, you will, because once you've come to this conclusion, explaining about the hybridization SP3 and SP2, we already know, we have already studied in our previous characters, S character is more than this. So start writing S character is higher. Done. When S character is higher, what will happen to the electronegativity? Yes, the electronegativity will also be also be greater. When electronegativity is greater, the bond length or the pull towards the nucleus isn't it greater? Yes. So you will write bond length will be just see shorter. Why is this bond length shorter? Because pull towards nucleus 
the pull towards nucleus is greater this is what i'm going to conclude but i have to be very clear while explaining such concepts you very well did you explain sp2 you told s character when s character is more electronegativity means the pull towards it's very closer right compared to p your s is closer electronegativity is uh, very high so bond length also automatically when the electronegativity is very high it's going to drag that particular uh, element towards it so pull towards nucleus is greater so automatically bond length will be short but when you are learning or when you are writing in terms of such aromatic compounds you have to also mention one important term apart from this that is your hybridization you are going to speak uh, i told hybridization right in hy uh, so i should write not hybridization i'll speak in terms of resonance very important so resonance is a term or this is the word which is given in the board key But the person who is correcting will first see whether this term and this term is there or not. Then goes with the explanation. Now I'll explain this particular resonance concept. So <clears throat> let me erase this part and let us see. I'm using this part of the board. When I speak about resonance of chlorobenzene, basically I'm going to take this example benzene with Cl. Okay, let us count. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. Octet. So we already know benzene, aromatic compound. It has alternate pi bonds, isn't it? Now, alternate pi bonds. We know this particular pair of electron is donated to this. When a pair of electron is donated. chlorine attains a partial or it attains a double bond character the how many are left 1 2 3 4 yes this is losing right so plus when something is losing a pair of electrons it attains a plus charge now we very well know your double bond and double bond can't be together isn't it so this double bond immediately shifts to this point when this is shifting to this point how does it look Yeah, double bond Cl plus one, two, three, four, and this part done. Yeah, now we already know this is dropped in. When this is dropped in, this double bond and this double bond can't be together. So this, this. How does the structure look like? One more resonating structure. This is dropped in, done. This is dropped in, done. This is still existing here, and you have double bonds Cl. Plus one, two, three, four. Done. So we are just getting different sites. Now we will further come back after some after the next resonating structure. This is dropped in. We very well know. I again mentioned it here. Double bond and double bond can't exist together. So this will shift to this side. What do I get now? I get double bond Cl. Yeah. Plus one, two, three, four. And this is existing here. And this bond has dropped in here. So I have to write it here. So this I, I already told both can't exist. This will shift here. Next resonating structure. This is going to drop in here again. The same story. Double bond and double bond can't exist. So this will shift back here. What do I get? Next resonating structure one. This is here. This is also here. Single bond plus. This is now plus has gone because it has already got the electrons. I should not write this plus. Now it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now observe carefully here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Earlier, before resonance, the double bond was between one and two. Now after resonance, the double bond has shifted to two and three. Isn't it? Yes. Now I'm going to explain this particular answer in terms of this. ARCl, because of its resonance, it shows a number of resonating structures. That means it is resonance stabilized. The more number of resonating structures is highly stabilized. So because of this highly stabilized nature, the double bond character, as we know. It's very tightly packed, very close to the nucleus. So when this is close to the nucleus, obviously the bond length decreases, isn't it? So I'm going to add due to resonance. Let me write this answer due to resonance, or yeah, let us write in terms of this resonance double bond. This double bond exists between. C and Cl, and due to which, due to this bond length decreases.
That is why you want to write. So SP2, explain. Resonance, explain. This completes your answer. Thank you.